fourth video in our series, Foundations of Outfield Play, is going to be about outfield movement. We're going to talk about the 360 degree world that we live in, not only as a human being, but also as a baseball player. Here at IMG Academies, we like to focus on the back 180 degrees for three reasons. The first reason is going to be because it's not natural human movement. We all move forward efficiently, but a lot of people can't move backwards efficiently. The second reason, it plays a heavy role in outfield play. Outfielders are constantly moving to their left and to their right, and also backwards in 45 and 90 degree angles. The third reason we focus on this type of movement is because it's the great separator of outfield play. As you move up in levels, this type of movement becomes very important because it shows us who are the guys that are gonna survive on the baseball field as an outfielder. Marty here is gonna first move in the zero degree angle or the lateral movement to his right side. The way this works is Marty's gonna do his starter steps, he's gonna pinch his knees, and now he's gonna focus on getting on his outer edge, his outer right edge, getting his left leg over the top, getting his torso turned, and getting to the zero degree cone. Once he gets there, he's gonna work on moving backwards, getting behind the baseball, and then moving his momentum forward through the baseball to give himself a chance at an assist in the game. Marty's gonna come back over now, he'll reset, and we're gonna focus on 45 degree movement. What Marty's gonna do here is he's gonna get his starter steps, he's gonna pinch his knees, we're gonna chop step back with our right foot, we're gonna utilize that outer edge to push off, get over the top, and get explosive back to 45 degrees, get behind the baseball again, and get through the baseball again. Again, this gives him the best opportunity at an assist. The third type of movement that we work on is 90 degree movement, and here we utilize what I call chop steps. Marty's gonna get his starter steps, he's gonna pinch his knees, he's gonna chop back to his right side and get over the top, get his torso turned, get back behind the baseball, and get through the baseball. One thing that you can do here as an athlete is pick a target behind you and get your torso turned to that target. In this case, we had the scoreboard for Marty. We also need to focus to the negative left side and also to the lateral left side during our drill work. What I would recommend is we're gonna go five to 10 reps each day to build this muscle memory to become the most efficient outfielder that you can become. In our next video, our fifth of the series, Foundations of Outfield Play, we're gonna talk about edge work. This is how to utilize the outer edge of your legs to create momentum and create efficiency to the spots that we're trying to get to on the field of play.